hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it's vibe sonia and i'm back again with another vibes on the table in this video today i'm going to try my best in as much as possible to tell you the simple truth on how you can get the 4000 watch hour someone asked that question when i posted um, how much 10k views how much i made on 10k views video and the person was like please can you tell us the simplest and easiest way to get your 4000 watch hour and all of that i am here to do today if you are not subscribed please do want to subscribe because i bring a lot of vibes on your table don't forget to like don't forget to comment and lastly don't forget to share for other persons to get this good news and i'll try as much as possible to be opened how my came about and how you can actually get yours okay so the first thing for you to do if you want to get your first thousand and uh, four thousand watch hour is to first of all start uploading on youtube for you to start uploading on youtube or for those of you that don't know you're just coming across this video yes you can make money on youtube um before you can make money on youtube you need to have four thousand watch hour and then one thousand subscribers and yeah they're not all difficult okay so today i'm going to be narrowing down on just the 4000 watch hour because that was a request that came from one of my video comments and i decided and i already promised that any comments that people are dropping i'll be like doing videos for more explanation so the first thing you need to do for you today your 4000 watch hour like i've earlier said is for you to start posting videos when i mean posting videos posting videos consistently okay yes posting videos consistently you cannot just come and just post once day and then run for 10 years and then come back and post second one and then run for 20 years and then come back and post and then go for two weeks vacation and the rest of that just know that if you're a new youtuber if you are a new um small youtuber like us you just need that consistency to get what you want okay and yeah that is the first point so the second one i'm going to be telling you is to post a long form video what do i mean a long form video at least a five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes even one hour videos why do you have to post such kind of content once you post a long form videos even when people come to your channel and don't watch from beginning to the end at least they get to watch some half of the minute to your watch time okay so for those of us that are posting like one minute two minute three minute um three minutes videos are not going to be accumulating more watch time like those ones sorry guys my phone is ringing let me end this call are not going to be receiving more watch time like those ones that are posting 10 minutes 20 minutes 15 minutes or even one hour video okay that is the second thing and that was actually the second thing that actually helped me you can scroll down my channel and see how my long form video started all about okay so the third thing you need to do if you want to achieve your four thousand watch hour is to work on your thumbnail i know it's not easy trust me it's not easy we are still learning even me i am still learning as i'm here but your thumbnails are very important they are very important because your thumbnails are the first center of attraction your thumbnails are what people will see first and then think that should i click on this video should i not click on this video should i pass this video should i stay in this video your thumbnail can actually determine that and i know it is very very okay that you are new on this youtube street and you are trying to like advance your thumbnails some of those thumbnails um, apps you can actually use the one that i use that i can really really recommend for you is thumbnail maker and then canva these are the two i can actually recommend and canva do a whole lot of work all you need to do is just to study it it's not easy but canva is very good when it comes to your thumbnails you put out a thumbnail give your thumbnail one special attraction okay except if you're doing lifestyle then you can take some of those clips and pictures from your lifestyle and then give your normal thumbnail but if you're doing like a video like this you can see that the thumbnail i used on this video is a bit brighter and so that you can also be able to like click so that the thumbnail will be clickable okay that's what i mean okay so um the next thing you need to do if you want to get that your 4000 watch are because all these things you need to know them before we dive into the main one i'm going to tell you guys the main cocoa but these are the very very ones that you need to first of all touch first okay the next thing you need to do is the clarity of your videos your videos need to be very very clear it is not a must that you must have a ring light stand or you must have a big light or what they call it, led light stuff like that even as I, when i'm filming this video i don't have an led light i even have a ring light and i'm right now 
now I am not using that ring light. I just have to open the curtains of my window, open my door so that I can get good lighting and coming from outside. I know it's not too much, but at least you can see me very well. And that is something that is very, very important, okay? Because it will be too bad for people to like come into your video and, or come into your channel and then they are clicking videos and then they are seeing that the video is blur or the video is dark or they're not even understanding or seeing what you are doing. So, but it will be okay if the video is not too educational or the video is not too interesting but i can at least see you very well to like relate to what you also can relate to. i don't know if you guys get so that is another part um so that anybody that comes to your channel when they are watching if the video is clear enough even if they want to be forwarding the video at least those small small time they are using to forward the video and then watching some part of the videos you can actually accumulate to watch hour for you then another thing you should actually do if you're considering getting a watch hour ASAP again is your voicing, okay? When I mean your voicing, like your sound, okay? Um, it is very okay that you don't have a mic. I recently bought this one. You guys know me on this street. If you're new on my channel, you can scroll down to see when I got this mic. It has not been long. I got this mic this year. And yeah, but ever since I don't have mic, what I do is that I shout. I talk on top of my voice. I don't know, like I shout or scream or so, but I talk so loud so that you can also hear me. Even when you have a mic, you also need to be loud because sometimes you don't even know if the mic is disconnected or the mic is not disconnected or the mic is functioning or not. Sometimes the lights might just go off without you knowing, okay? So some stuff like that. So you need to be on top of your voice so that anything that you are doing, your videos can actually be captivating, okay? Okay. then another thing you need to do if you want to get your 4000 watch hour is to work on your titling the titling of your video is something i feel like is your direction i don't know how to say it sorry guys my phone is ringing the titling of your video is what i call your direction i call it your direction because the moment i see your video the first thing i go to check is your titling once i see your titling probably i see your video on my fyp the first thing i check is your titling and then i try as much as possible to see your thumbnail okay so the titling of your video is your direction is the titling like telling people that okay this is what you're going to watch this is what you're going to see in this video okay sometimes your thumbnail might not explain all of that but the titling of your videos might tell us that okay i'm going to see a vlog i'm going to see a, a day in her life i'm going to see uh, my life as an introvert my life as an extrovert in my 20s life of a mom with four kids life of a mom with two kids so all of these things what works for you is your title so i advise you um whenever you're trying to choose your title try to choose a good title okay and i don't only want you to choose a good title try to check for titles that are trending trending titles are very very important yes it is not new trending titles are important because once it the titles are trending you can your videos can be able to find yourself in between that trending title and that other people can also watch your videos take for example a day in my life is one of the videos that trend a lot you could you can see people putting a day in my life you go to your fyp you see a day in my life in my 20s a day in my life as a mom a day in my life as a this you can also do that if you are doing a money making channel you're also trying as well as possible to check the titles that are trending and then you work with those titling like okay um how much i made for this video or how to make money online or online making money you know online making money is something that is really really trending so look for titling that are really really trending and trust me they are going to be accumulating that four thousand watch hour for you because even if your video is not interesting and someone just said the title and that you just captivate them and then they click on that video next time youtube is going to still recommend your videos to them okay there are some videos that just because of the title i just click and then i see that it's not interesting i just pass and then the next time i'm still seeing them on my screen i'm seeing them on my fyp which is my for you page and the rest of that okay so that will also help you then another thing that people mostly do not talk about which is the cocoa one now is if you are struggling to get your 4000 watch hour i advise you to do live streaming yes i did live streaming i can't lie i did live streaming i have to put those live streaming into private my private um, list so that because now i don't i no longer need them okay i needed them then but now i don't need them there's something we call silent live stream for those of you that don't know whereby okay let's take for example this is my background now if i want to do silent live stream i can just go on live stream on my youtube 
um, account and then face the camera to this my what they call it this my design on the wall and when i face it i'll just mute my mic so that any sound or any noise that's coming from the background it will not go directly into the video and then you can leave your live stream for like one hour ma um, minimum of one hour maximum of 10 hours if you want when i said in my room i do 10 hours i can't lie then i work in a facility whereby i have this wi-fi and i always buy data i see in fact if you're working with me on this street you know that anything i'm getting on this street trust me i deserve it i deserve it because i put in the work i put in everything to make sure that this my channels come into success and till now i'm still not giving up because if you give up you're not going to be getting the coins okay the coins are not going to be coming so you don't need to give up okay i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say so it is very good for you to do silent live stream okay if you don't have that enough data to do like 10 hours silent live stream you can just do a one hour 30 minutes 50 minutes when all of these videos are accumulating and are going online trust me your um, what they call it your your watch hour will actually be increasing okay so the more you're doing live stream the more your watch hours will be increasing your watch hours will be setting up and then some persons will be like why is she talking about live stream see it is just the truth for those ones that didn't do that we're lucky enough for their videos to go viral good luck to them but i did a live stream i did max amount of 10 hours live stream i do six hours three hours five hours and the rest of that and then what i did after doing those live stream i have to combine them into a playlist okay i have to combine them into a playlist and then tell my friends abroad to help me run my playlist to help me play my playlist for those of you who don't know what it means to run your playlist if you have not created playlists on your on your um youtube channel you need to go and create playlists on your youtube channel why do you need to go and create playlists because playlists will enable anybody that wants to help you run your videos to to be very easy for the person all the person just needs to do is to go to that playlist and then click on it and then the person just leaves it and then anytime that's one when one video is done the next one goes the third one goes the fourth one goes so that was what i did i also did that i created a playlist and then i put all my one one hour four four hours 10, 10 hours videos into one playlist and then i just tell my friends in the uk um okay i have a friend at you in the uk i have a friend in canada and i have a friend in indian but it was majorly the one in indian that was running it for me she was really the one that stood by my back like she understood what youtube is all about and then she had to like come through for me and i'm so so grateful if you're watching this video rosa god bless you so she helped me to run my playlist and she was running my playlist i was also running my playlist buying my data running my playlist in my office place when i was working i had free wi-fi as well run my playlist have to start begging for people's phone and the rest of that i'm not saying you should beg for people's phone please because your destination my destination is not the same but all i'm trying to say in essence is that playlist is something that can actually work for you really fast and doing live stream is something that can actually work for you really fast so if you're not putting that two things into consideration now start putting it to your consideration and start working on it okay that is one of the most important things that can accumulate what are within a twinkle of an eye i wake up in the morning i see 500 i wake up in the morning i see 400 i see 400 i see 200 because since i'm running my playlist and she's also helping me to run my playlist and then for those of you that have laptop you can actually help your yourself to open like you use different browser to like run the playlist okay you can use phonics to run one of the playlists you use S explorer to run the second of the playlist and the rest of that and still the watch hour will be accumulated and have it in mind that sometimes if you're having this your watch hour youtube might be dropping one or two of those watch hours but don't mind okay don't give up just keep pushing definitely your watch hour is going to get there if you also have friends abroad and you want to tell them to help you run your playlist because i know how much it will take a lot for you to be running playlists in especially in this economy me but sometimes you need to tell yourself that if this is what you're doing it's what you're doing there's nothing i invest on my youtube channel that i will ever regret i just feel like it's just worth doing so why do i need to stress myself why do i need not to do it i don't know if you guys get my points so you can also start doing it okay it will really help you so another thing again that can actually help you if you want to actually achieve your 4000 watch hour is to support yourself as a small youtuber i wonder why you're not even commenting on other people's video i wonder why you're not commenting on your fellow small youtubers video you always go to your big youtubers your favorite youtubers and then you drop a lot of comments you drop loads you engage in their videos and the rest of that those ones are not coming to engage yes it's okay even some persons that are watching my video i don't even have all of that time to go to your videos and engage 
But if I see a comment in my video and I see that, okay, this comment is new, even if it's once or twice, I try as much as possible to go to your videos and then also help you watch, also help you support because I know the dreams that we all are pursuing here, okay? So go to people's comments, go to people's videos and watch their videos, especially your small YouTubers. You can just watch their videos and you just drop a comment like, oh, I just supported you. You can also help in supporting my channel. I'm also a new YouTuber like you. You just drop a light, sweet comment, not like you would tell that, oh, I have watched you come and watch me back some of those people will not come back because you are rude okay so but if you just drop a sweet comment oh i just supported you you could try as much as possible if you have time to like support me and just i'm also a new youtuber i'm also a growing youtuber like say something that is sweet they will definitely come and support you okay so instead of packing all of your time to your big youtubers your favorite youtubers of which i'm not saying you should not do that continue to do that okay it's very very good i have big youtubers i i, I watch as well they are my friends i, I don't say they're my not like they're my friends like one like i love them i don't know if you guys understand so and i also drop comments on their channel and i don't see anything bad there but in as much as i'm doing that i also try my possible best to like engage in some of my friends and some of the ones i know that okay these ones are also growing youtubers like me because i keep telling myself i am growing okay the only way i can see myself as a big youtuber is when i know i start cashing out like back to back every month when i know my channel is up to that stage whereby people i can just post one video and then i get like 50k views 100k views 200k that's when i can call myself a small youtuber but as long as i'm consigned for now I'm still a small YouTuber, even as I'm on my way to my 13k subscribers, and of which I believe it will happen soon. I don't know if you guys get. So that alone, dropping a comment alone can give you two things. It can give you subscribers, and then it can give you watch hour. So if dropping a comment on someone's channel can actually give you subscribers, and then can give you watch hour, why not? You're looking for your 1,000 subscribers. You need to engage. There are a lot of, when I meet a lot of subscribers, there's one man here, I always see his comments, and thank you so much, Sir Maitu. His name is Maitu. I remember when I started seeing his comments was when he was on 200 subscribers. But once you drop a video, even if he's not, he doesn't understand the language that you're saying, because sometimes I see him engage in different, different languages, like he was like, oh, I just see his comments there. I see that he's trying as much as possible, like, oh, nice video. He'll just say, like, nice video, that's good. Oh, thumbs up to your videos, your videos are nice. And I, and I also went straight to his channel. I was like, ah, this person is always dropping comments on my channel. Let me also go and check his channel. And I checked his channel. I saw that he's a small uh, YouTuber, and I decided to, like, subscribe, because subscription will not take anything from me. So why do I keep my subscription? Why can't I subscribe? to my friends why can't i subscribe to my fellow nigerians my fellow us my fellow canada citizens and the rest of that so this is just a small way of helping each other small way of interacting with each other small ways of telling each other that okay what you're doing is nice keep it up small ways of encouraging each other like oh just keep doing what you're doing we're definitely gonna get there all of us are striving to achieve one thing in life even if some of us are there already but we are still striving you can even see your big youtubers they're not even giving up they're also still striving to make like more money to make like to bring like more money on their table so if such kind of people are trying in their most possible best to like upload videos four times in a, in a week five times in a week some of these your big youtubers even upload videos every day so then what are you waiting for you that you're a small youtuber what are you waiting for that you cannot just upload that thing that your hand grab whatever your hand grab no matter the content of your channel no matter your niche you're trying to niche down it is okay for you to over niche i don't know if i don't know if that statement is okay like when i mean over niche it's okay for you to like put your hand here put your hand there east west north and south to see the particular thing that can actually face you your audience but class that can actually bring people down to your table because if you check into this my channel i did life i did how to make money i did how to do this how to withdraw on tiktok how to do this how to do that and you see most of those videos that i did there that i feel like okay i'm just probably wasting my time at some point i even have to do news hmm. i even have to do news i even have to do celebrity news i have to do celebrity news at some point i was like what can actually fresh up my audience for me it was when i go up to like 10,000 subscribers i was like okay now i really want to niche down to what i want which is actually my lifestyle so since i've gotten the subscribers i've gotten the watch hour and i've gotten some small coins coming in now let me niche down to what i want personally so you can also do that so it is not time for you to start niching down too much as a small youtuber anything your hand lay on you keep uploading if you want to cook and you feel like you can vlog it you cook and you vlog it you want to sweep your room if you want to mob you want to do anything you want to even go and make your hair you feel like you can vlog it you can vlog it i did a video whereby just a video i did about where i go i went to get my nightwears and the rest of that i got almost um 
for my advertisers are paying almost twenty dollars plus in that video that was the highest video imagine me just getting one kb on that video i'm making the whole lot of nine dollars and above and of which is something to be grateful for so why can't you do it why why are you not trying to like slow your movement to come to upload videos in one day and then you go again and then you come again to upload video in the next two days and then you go again for like three weeks you go again for like four weeks you go again for like one month like it's actually not making sense right now i'm not too strong and that's why even sometimes to film now it is very very difficult for me but i try as much as possible to make sure i put something even if it's a short clip between my husband and i my husband and my baby girl my husband and like everything goes to basically in the house my my, my channel is lifestyle so why do i need to limit myself and say i cannot upload my video that is up to one minute even if i get a video that is just 30 seconds or 20 seconds i'll just upload it at shorts so this is because i want my channel to be active i want youtube to see that i am active i want youtube to see that this is what i want to achieve and truly and truly you guys should help me achieve it and by doing all of this youtube keep pushing my content i keep seeing a lot of subscribers i keep seeing a lot of watch hours like right now i can't even i don't even i don't even i don't even think of i don't even know when last i checked my watch hour. what am i checking the watch hour for i already have my watch hour and another thing that you need to do again for you to get your 4,000 watch hour hour uh, so that your 4,000 watch hour cannot be waste is to make sure that any videos you're doing, make sure it's aligned with YouTube rules and regulation. Because it will be too bad that after suffering for your 4,000 watch hour, you are now later demonetized. Like you will feel so down, you will feel frustrated. And coupling with the fact that if YouTube now decide to like tell you to delete some of your videos and you're not deleting some of your videos your watch hours are not dropping like you will really feel it so if you're doing anything on this youtube should make sure it's applied with youtube rules and regulation okay make sure there is no any nudity or nude or porn or anything in your videos make sure that the music you are using there are a lot of music from youtube library free music that you can use from youtube library browse about them and know about them so that you don't end up using the video your favorite Baku ranking your favorite uh, Wizzy Boy and the rest of that, and then you end up having copyright issues and the rest of that, or you don't end up posting people's video, videos that are not your videos, video that's violated YouTube community guideline, and then you ended up being get you got strike on your channel, and then your channel is being deleted, or your channel is being demonetized, or stuff like that. It's actually not going to be okay with you. So if you're looking for your four thousand watch hour, make sure you're complying with all of these things that you are doing, so that at the end of the day, once you are monetized, you know that everything that you are praying for are already intact. Okay, I said this in the channel. I was once demonetized. I was demonetized because i was not aware so you that you're aware then don't try anything that will make you demonetized don't upload videos that their content has a watermark like tiktok watermark and the rest of that be careful of those tiktok watermark facebook watermark instagram watermark and the rest of that if you're doing video and you want to post your video on tiktok make sure that the video you're posting on tiktok they also have you to like upload on your youtube channel without the watermark okay or make sure you try all these your download apps that you can actually download your videos without watermark so all of these things put in place are things that can actually give you your four thousand watch hour without stress and you need to also give yourself targets all you need to tell yourself is how long do i want to achieve this four thousand watch hour do i want to achieve this four thousand watch hour in the next one year do i want to achieve it in the next six months i got monetized in six months in god be the glory greetings he has done it's not by might it's not by power it's just god's grace and then you need to also tell yourself is it three months that i want to be monetized so just give yourself that target that you actually desire that you actually want and then you walk towards that target and then trust me definitely you are going to be monetized considering your playlist after you put your live stream and the rest of that and then you're monetized you can now put them into private and then put your life and your channel into shape and change everything you know you want to change or adjust anything you want to adjust but the main goal now is that you're already making money on your channel so yes i hope this video is able to help anyone out there that is looking for how you can actually make your 4000 watch hour is there any video you actually want me to do for you again and the video has been ringing in your mind or is there any question bothering you you want me to answer for you with videos let me know in the comment section are you a new youtuber struggling for 4000 watch hour
also let me know in the comment section is this video helpful to all the youtubers that are struggling for 4000 watch hour also let me know in the comment section i want us to interact and talk in the comment section so that we can actually help each other okay so yes thank you for watching and without further ado if you've not subscribed subscribe like comment and share i do i do like i always say in my videos i'm going to send back and i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye guys i love you